up, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the books that I really want to get to in the year of 2016. These are just five books that I want to put more on my priority list. And also, I'm in a new location in my room because um, I made this thingy, and I think it's cool. A little sacrilegious, but cute nonetheless. So, let's get on with the five books that I really need to read, and if by two or December of this year I haven't read one of them, well, you can tell me, Grace, you didn't do it, and I can be like, oh gosh, dang it. But I'll get to it. I know I will. I will. The first book I'm going to talk about is The Archive by Victoria Schwab. I've only read one, yeah, I've only read one of her books, which is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, obviously. And it is one of my favorite books of all time, and I've heard amazing things about this. Is it going to be a trilogy? I don't know, there's like speculation about a third book, but honestly I haven't been following that. But basically it follows this girl who's like the keeper of the dead, so she's like a librarian. But if the books were dead people, because the tagline thingy is, imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. I believe she's like the keeper, I don't know, but I've heard amazing things. And I love this cover, it is one of my favorite covers, it's matte, it's beautiful. And, um, I'm gonna read it, guys. The next book I really want to get to is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And I believe this book is a post-apocalyptic one, and it follows a theater troupe after um, a flu pandemic arrived. And so, a flu pandemic arrived, and then 20 years later, we're following this um, theater troupe. Which I think is really interesting, like, life is shit and there's not a lot of people, but we're gonna still have a theater troupe and keep art alive. I think that's really cool. And you're following two different timelines, so before this outbreak happened and after. And I think that's really awesome. My good friend on booktube, Michelle, over at Time Will Tell, this is one of her favorite books. She's always like, read it. And I know, girl, I am. I'm gonna. And um, I've, it's had gotten a lot of awards and the author looks really nice. So that's a plus. The next book I want to get to is a historical fiction novel, and that is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine Ween. Um, this is set in 1943, and it follows a girl and her best friend, and they are British spies, and their plane crashes in Nazi-occupied France, and they're taken and questioned, but only one of the girls has um, only one of the girls is said to survive, or one girl only has a chance to survive. So you sounds harsh, but um, sounds really good. I've heard a lot of praise for it, and I'm excited. I've heard really good things about the audiobook, and I've listened to one or two audiobooks before, and I just, I, I don't know if it was just like a bad audiobook, but um, I couldn't get into it, but maybe I'll get a sample and see, but if I don't, then I'll just read it. But again, I've heard amazing things. The next book I really want to get to is I Am the Messenger by Marcus Suzak, and Marcus Suzak is the author of my favorite book, The Book Thief. So obviously I really want to read everything he writes, and from what I know it follows this guy named Ed. He's an underage cab driver, and his life is pretty much going nowhere. He's in love with his best friend, hopelessly romantic, and um, till one day he stops a bank robbery, and he's sent messages, and I think he kind of has to follow what this person is giving, giving him, and obviously that makes his life a little less ordinary. So I think it sounds really good, really interesting, and really different, and also I've heard amazing things, like I've heard with really every one of these books, so yeah. Last book I'm going to talk about, I have on my list strictly because it is the book that I've had on my shelf the longest, and it needs to be read, and that is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I've heard um, pretty mixed things about this book, a lot of people love it, a lot of people don't really care for it. But from what I know, it follows this girl named Sam, and her home life is very neat and tidy, very orderly, and her neighbor Garrett has a very large, rambunctious, loud family, and she always kind of looks out her window and sees them. I don't know if she really does, but let's assume. And she craves that. So I think they meet, I don't know what's going on, but I mean, they're kissing, so there's something going on. Uh, I I think that this will go by really fast. It's a contemporary love story. Usually they go by like that. And I've also actually read a book that's pretty similar to this, and that is Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. I read it this month. I'll talk about it in my wrap-up, but gotta read this. So those are the five books that I really want to get to sometime this year. And also, let's be real, the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, because I want to read the spin-off series. I've been in the middle of the first book for years. Not for years, but for like a year. 
And um, for all you Percy Jackson fans who are watching this whose heart is breaking, totally feel you because I can totally see how Percy Jackson can be like, you're Harry Potter, so um, I, I need to read it, I know. And here's my dog, I said I'll show her in every video because she's so cute and all, oh, she's so sleepy. So if you've read any of these books and you want to go ahead and tell me your thoughts, please do so because I would love to know. And what are some of the books that you really want to get to sometime this year? I think it would also love to know that. Don't lick my mouth. Mm. Okay, you can. I don't really care that much. Um, but yes, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Aww.